What is going on guys, my name is Dimitri and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna break down for you what the best to-do list app is in 2021. So without further ado, here is my review of Todoist in 2021. So first and foremost, I wanna break down for you guys what exactly the pricing structure is for Todoist. And as you can see, there is a free plan, which is pretty solid. Um, with the free plan, you get five active projects, five collaborations for projects, some small file uploads, three filters, and a week of activity history. But then when you go pro, it's actually not that expensive one. And two, you, you get a lot more. So you get 300 active projects, 25 collaborations per project, uh, decently sized megabyte file uploads, a lot of filters, uh, unlimited activity history, which I think is important, unlimited reminders and themes and auto backups. Now there is business version, which I'm not really sure if this is uh, something that fits in for business, but if you can do the math real quick, it is not expensive. Uh, if you have Todoist Pro, it will only cost you a few dollars over out the year. So it's gonna be 36 bucks. And that's that's really not that bad when you compare it to some other programs and we compare it to wasting money. I mean, like, just don't eat out once a year with, with a significant other or just honestly yourself, if you're splurging, just like don't eat out twice more a year and you're you're fine. So like, don't, it's, 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 it's pretty cheap. All right, so I have some example tests from the Notion API that I've been using for a while, but there's just, I'm gonna go through the different views really quick by default. So we get the inbox, which is pretty much everything. Right, and you can sort it by due date, priority, alphabetically, or make a custom sort. And you can have groupings and sorts here. So if we do group by due date, then you can see this ones don't have due dates. It's kind of nice. And then if you go to today, shows what's like overdue for me, but anything that would be due today, um, custom sort as well, you can do within here. It could be assigned to other people. And then if we go to upcoming, see what's overdue, but it's also stuff that could be added in the future and what's due in the future. You can go to specific days and I think it's a really nice view as well. So if we go back here to today, you can see what's up. So let's go into a new task and figure out exactly what we got here. So we have example task here. There's descriptions, description here. We can make it do today, all right? Then we can add a label, so let's say it's work. We can add a priority level, so this is priority numero uno. We can add a reminder if we had the pro plan. And then let's try to add this task and then dive back into it. So you can see that there's comments you can add, so here's a comment. And it'll mark the time of that. We can have subtasks within here. So example, subtask. And then you could also schedule that kind of stuff. Um, what's very interesting is, is actually the recurring tasks and how those work. So for recurring tasks, what's really interesting is you can type in something like this. Um, every Monday at 9 a.m. Boom. Look at that, recurring tasks. What the heck is that? We love to see it. Um, it's it's really cool that this is an option. It's amazing that you can do that. I think having a recurring task feature like that is nice. Um, as you can see, there's, there's different options within the due dates here, so we can put, postpone these tasks as well. Recurring tasks are pretty easy. Just remember to type in what you want. So every day at whatever time, and it'll occur for you. If we go back to this example task here, we can work on the projects. So if we go to projects, I don't have any projects, so I'm gonna make Notion videos, like getting some ideas going or something. So you can make a board or a list view. So we can also add it to favorites. I'm gonna add it to my favorites. Let's make the blur, the color teal, hit add. So we got some Notion videos. Name this section, video ideas. So we can make tasks like this, brainstorm videos, write scripts, record videos. And you can add for different sections too. I, board views in Todoist are interesting. I think it's good that they have something like this as a different option. I know it's not like the end all be all for people, but it is good to have that. So as you can see, if we go back to the um, tasks overall, 
just go to here at the inbox. You can change the project that it's in by clicking here and you can actually change it to the specific board by going in here. So if we go here, it'll go into the video ideas right here. So I think it's good that I'm um, really quick with labels. You get three labels uh, per the free version. And as you can see, I've already marked this one as work, but we can change it to side hustle because that makes more accurate sense here because it was in the notion ideas. So that's how you do it with the, the labels, pretty self-explanatory. So then if we wanna actually go back in here or wherever you wanna find this task and go back to side hustle, whatever. Um, let's duplicate this real quick. Uh, and then duplicate, exclude the comments. Let's duplicate this again. They're all due today. Let's change the priority level all of three of these. So this one would be priority level two, this one would be priority level three. And then if we go to something like the sort here, so sort by priority, right? We see the one that's priority numero uno is at the top. So if we go here and we go to sort by priority, we can see that it's actually got these down here. Now in this due date, you can see priority one and then the rest of these are overdue. So I could check all these off and show you the example a little bit better. Right, so if we see this, oh, I completed five tasks. I mean, I already did a while ago, but uh, if we go here, we can see that there's this in order of priority, and it actually has an interesting part of it. If you notice, the checkbox has a priority color. So if we look in here real quick, it's red. It's whatever that color is. I'm colorblind as heck, so maybe it's orange, blue. Or we duplicate it again. We right click here, quickly change it to priority four. So that's pretty much a brief overview of how you can use Todoist. And is it the best to-do list app in 2021? One of the best ones I've used. I'd say it's pretty good. That's me though. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one.